So here's my homemade English wheel. Uh, still needs some fine tuning. Uh, the, the metal for the frame was all stuff that I found out at the scrapyard. Uh, they charged me 30 cents a pound for steel for most stuff. The wheel is just a caster that uh, I had laying around. I know those things are crazy expensive for these, like $40 for this one wheel, but I had it laying around and I just welded it on here, so if it really comes down to it, I can always take that off if I get around to making a different wheel for it. And this is actually just a, a ball from a three-point hitch. I found that at Tractor Supply for the lower anvil. I think it was like six bucks. Um, I just have a threaded rod down here to a sprocket for a handle for adjusting the thickness. And uh, I think I'd give you a little bit of a demonstration about how how it works. I haven't had it out in a while, so um, just so we know up front here, this it works, but it does not work well because it's got this urethane wheel in here. If it was metal, it would be better. This is with it's so soft, it's way too aggressive to be functional as far as using it for actually making anything because it, it it bends it so fast it puts a ridge in it and and uh, you'll see this is just a little thin piece of galvanized at all so but I want to show you so it's pretty much flat and straight and so and I'm not putting any side load on this at all. I am literally just pushing it back and forth. And I know I need to cement my post for my vise in the ground a little better there. But apparently when they poured the concrete in my shop, they decided that some places only needed to be half an inch thick. So that needs to be fixed. But So as you can see, I mean, it obviously works. It shapes the metal, but way way too fast so it's really really got a lot of ridges on it I don't know how well that shows up but so but yeah I mean how can you complain with that uh, you know put a put a harder wheel on it and a crappy seven dollar garage build English wheel will be perfectly functional so just thought that might be an interesting one for somebody. So, and uh, I even th I thought about just cutting the urethane wheel off, but this this wheel is just too functional. I, I've got some other ones I can use it for making a cart. I can just cut that off and make a different wheel out of it. I, this was kind of just a proof of concept. I wanted to see how it would how it would hold up, and and uh, it works, and I like it, and I plan on uh, redoing it and making it better so that it actually works well. So. Anyway, have a good one.